All right. Hook up this four port Mac. May we'll get a dyno today. Maybe. So let's get to pushing on this. I like to use these push lock fittings on this. That makes it a lot easier to connect and just to connect. So uh, the reason why I chose a four port, even though this car is not going to be running a lot of booze, one had an extra one, two. You can control boost over a various range of pressure. So I believe the base spring in there is seven pounds. And I could probably go up to about 40. But we won't be going up that high. It's turbo. Not that efficient in that area. So push lock. Push it in. Locked. Release. Oh. Just... Okay, just push it down. And you want to release it. So, there's the neck valve that I'm. There's the neck valve. He's in. Using a factory uh, recirc valve. I don't like that flutter noise. There's the uh, Mac valve hooked up. I don't think you can see it down there. But there's the wastegate using LS coils. Uh, gonna be making a a vacuum block. I got a lot of vacuum lines and don't have enough ports on the manifold, so. We'll hook that up. And uh, yeah, so right now, installing the uh, the hubs for the dyno pack. So just about done with one side.
these dinos better than the roller dinos. Nothing wrong with the roller dinos, but I always feel like like if a strap snaps or something weird. Now your car is jacked up. So I prefer these dinos. Oh. Uh, Further back? Yeah, two, two, four. Yeah. So I think time is not right. Yeah, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna give it a little gas. I just want to see what it looks like, mine compared to yours, to see how far up it is. Mine's like at like 15. that far though. Well, too short. Here, you can hear it in this one. Okay. Now, I have the safety on. so you can't idle pass like 2,000 <laughs> if your temperature gets too hot. So let me go there and fix that. I think I have it too low.
right, so these are the final numbers for the vehicle. We did uh, about 318 foot pounds of torque and about 330, actually it's 329 uh, rear wheel horsepower. And um, that was at 12 PSI. So first time dynoing, or actually second time, second or second day, uh, felt good. We did about a total of two, probably like 18 passes. So this is the last batch. Uh, worked out a little uh, more bugs that I was able to locate. Actually, it was just one bug. Uh, I forgot to tighten down the crank angle sensor, so my timing went all the way down to zero for my base timing. So we're wondering what was going on. Uh, also, this is without the VTC activated and disactivating. So there's some mid-range torque that I can uh, pick up uh, shifting this graft up. But I, I think I'm good where it's at for now. Um, and we'll see how it goes with E85, but right now for 330, uh, the car runs and drives great. Get it to the paint shop so they can uh, start painting. So, little Betsy. Did good. Now to get to paint, finish up everything else.